Megan here from Am Soaps. Today we're going to make a soap in a brand new mold that I have. Hello friends. Today's soap is going to be fragranced with dragon fruit and pear. It does not discolor, does not accelerate, and is just a lovely fragrance for a rainbow soap. This is going to be a different rainbow than usual. It's not going to be stripy per se. It's going to be a drop swirl and it's going to have, let's look at our mold here, vertical stripes, not horizontal. So here's my new mold, and it has three partitions creating four equal parts. So we're going to have, if I can do this right, blue and green. And the hearts are going to be in here. I have orange, red, pink hearts that are going to go in this section. Two different greens. A yellow green and a darker green yellow and orange and pink and red and this is going to be drop swirled into raw batter so it's going to be actually quite a lot of raw batter with the colors drop swirled into it in four sections if I can successfully do this here is my colors crimson sparkle mica pink ultramarine Adobe Orange Mica, Yellow Canary, Purple Galaxy Mica, Celestial Blue, Emerald Green, and Lime Green Mojito. Our piping tip will be the Wilton 4B. So I'm pre-measuring out my colorants here. So if this starts to move fast, I'm ready to also move fast. I don't have to open things. Orange. We're ready to go. I'm going to add the lye water solution to the oils and stick blend it, but I'm not going to stick blend it very much. I want it just barely emulsified, just barely mixed because we have a lot of mixing, stick blending to do here in the colors. So if I stick blend now too much, it will no longer be fluid enough to pour nicely. So. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is this is eight cups here. So I'm going to separate it two cups by two cups by two cups. So I'm going to pour out the first two cups. Almost there. there. Now we're there. And this is my raw batter. I'm going to mix up a little bit of each blue and then pour it at increments like Midnight nine six three and then something like one two five eight something like that. So as if you were looking at the face of a clock. Oh, I forgot about my fragrance. I'm going to add the fragrance to this, not to the colors. I'll do that at the last moment. And you just simply pour it in. It blends and mixes itself as it pours. And it's staying where it should. This is very good. This is very exciting. Ooh, perfect. Surprisingly, it's just enough. 
I'm having some seeping through. So I'm going to put some in just in the bottom so we have pressure at the bottom of all of them. I might be learning that I should pour this faster here. There. I could, I don't know, you can't see it from where you're looking. I could see it seeping through there. Okay, I might be making an incredible mess of this. <laughs> but it's soap. <laughs> it's good soap, that's what matters. Okay, because remember, also when I pull out the dividers, that's going to take volume out and the soap will sink. All right, let's move faster. Moving too slow. Perfect. Next is the red and the pink, and then we pull out the dividers and pipe the top. It's all right if colors blend. Okay, now the final one is the red and the pink, and then the final reveal kind of when we pull out these dividers. Now let's remove these dividers. Just going to pull straight up. It's getting slippery. Now, I'm not scraping these off because I'm going to scrape them off now and add them to the top. One side, one side. Now, this is going to be very interesting soap. There's more effects I have in my mind to do in the future. I just wanted to try it out first as a pretty rainbow soap. All right, I'm going to scrape these off into this to top it up.
our finished loaf. Before we cut it, I'll just show you the edges. Everything's very nice and straight. No wrinkles from freezer paper because we didn't need freezer paper. It came off quite easily. I just, what I did was I'd start one edge and you could see the air pocket where the acrylic was releasing from the soap and I was very patient. I think the next video I show will be more details. I'll show you putting together the mold and taking it apart because that's interesting but it takes a long time so it needs to be a video of its own or this video would have been very long. So and those who weren't interested would you know be stuck watching it. Meanwhile they don't care. <laughs> Oh, look at that. This is very interesting. I cannot tell you what this reminds me of, but it is reminding me of something, something from a science museum. How interesting is that? Just pretty hearts on this one. That's the end piece. I think it, it's reminding me of levels of the earth geology displays in museums that's it's reminding me of. So my red and pink could be prettier. I have a design in mind for this mold. That's why I bought it. So in a few weeks I'll show purpose behind this, what I really intended to do. Oh, that was pretty. See some pink there? I like it. This is a cool soap. Mm. It's kind of more like artwork than soap, huh? It's like an abstract painting. Ooh, so here's my sample piece and the end piece. There's less waste with this mold because the end pieces are pretty enough to not need to trim. Here's the two ends. You know, they don't show the design, but they're nice and straight. There's no crinkles to have to cut off. Mm, and this will be the one that I put out for the customers to smell. I always have one unpackaged for them to smell. So one, two, three, four, five. I made ten slices. And so here's my gardener soap from my other mold. And oh, you like it, Pepper? You like the gardener soap? You can smell like a garden, huh? So they're larger bars. bit larger on that side. I like them. I'm very happy with this. Mm. And it just cured nice. It, it went through gel phase. I had a look at it in the middle of the night and I could see it in the mold darkening. So it did go through gel phase. And uh, it's just works very nicely with my recipe. So you'll be seeing this mold a lot more, especially for all my summer soaps. I'm going to do some fruit, fruit soaps in a similar design to this, but more of an ombre, not rainbow. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Say bye, Pepper. Mm -hmm.